This is one of the most popular and in-demand trades that needs people right now and the demands only increase in the future. According to the Brewer of Labor Statistics, they project a 9% growth rate for HVAC jobs from 2025 to 2033, much faster than the average for all occupations. Getting into the HVAC industry in 2025 is a career that can change your life, and that's right around the corner. You may be wondering, how do I become an HVAC technician? Stick around until the end and you'll find out. Hi, I'm Austin. I grew up in the trades and successfully completed an IBW Union Lineman Apprenticeship in 2020. Now, I'm a journeyman lineman by trade. Blue Collar EDU is a channel to expose, teach, educate you about blue collar career opportunities and how to get started with those blue collar careers. Today, I want to educate you on what it takes to become an HVAC technician in 2025. First off, what is an HVAC technician? An HVAC technician or heating, ventilation, and air conditioning technician is a skilled tradesperson who installs, repairs, and maintains heating and cooling systems in residential, commercial, and industrial settings. Now, HVAC techs work on systems that regulate indoor temperatures, humidity, and air quality, including furnaces, air conditioners, and ventilation units. Their job really involves troubleshooting issues, ensuring systems are energy efficient, and performing regular maintenance to keep equipment running smoothly. They may also handle electrical work and refrigerant management as part of their role. You gotta think anywhere you really go. If you're in the South, somewhere like Arizona, big HVAC is a big thing. It's very hot here for most part of the year. So people need their AC versus also in Northern climate states where it gets cool, they need their heating and ventilation systems to be up and running to heat their homes. Now, the importance of HVAC is that this industry necessarily isn't the most glamorous or look cool on the internet. But stop and think for just a minute about the importance of heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. As I was mentioning, it doesn't matter what state you live in, a warm, hot climate or a cooler climate in the north, you either really want heating, ventilation, or air conditioning. And it's a very, very, very important trade and a very important industry. There has been an increase largely driven by new residential and commercial buildings, growing needs for energy efficient systems due to environmental regulations and incentives for green technologies. There's also been a shift towards you know, energy efficient and environmentally friendly HVAC systems, which is creating job opportunities for technicians who are skilled in new technologies like smart thermostats and automated climate control systems. And also, you know, another driver is the focus on the indoor air quality, especially in healthcare and commercial facilities. The HVAC industry is also considered recession resistant as heating and cooling are essential services. Maintenance, repair, and replacements are necessary even during economic downturns, ensuring steady demand for technicians. Overall, the job outlook for HVAC professionals is robust, making it a promising career with stability, opportunities for advancement, and room for specialization. Now, I've had the opportunity to talk with some folks who are owners or operators of HVAC companies and they say their biggest issue in the industry right now isn't having the work. It's more so about getting and hiring qualified technicians and keeping and retaining those technicians. Now, that's where you can come in. However, that's an issue for both the company and the employee. If you're in a company looking for you know, an advanced technician, he's probably been in the trade for a while. He's gonna come in, he's gonna be doing something how he's been doing for the last 15, 20 years. But as a company, you want things done your way. So that's always kind of an issue. Well, you can always hire, you know, a unqualified technician and you can bring them up the way you want them brought up and bring them in. And so this is kind of where this is about where I want to talk about how you can kind of meet in the middle there where you can have some technician experience, but also be green enough to where you're kind of a qualified employee open for hire. Now, with that being said, you can't necessarily become an HVAC tech on the internet. There are some logical solutions that will help you be more qualified 
get you more knowledgeable about the ins and outs of the HVAC industry, and get you better prepared for a career in the HVAC world. And your goal is probably to start working as an HVAC tech as fast as possible. If you're looking to get into the HVAC industry, I'm sure that's what you're looking to do. So you might be wondering, what are some of the requirements for becoming an HVAC technician? So when it comes down to it, there are really three requirements to getting started in the HVAC world. Formal education being one of them. So you're gonna need some sort of formal education to learn more about the HVAC systems, the tools of the trade, and understand the role completely. The HVAC trade can be very specific and very technical between the working on electrical circuits and the refrigerants used, and whether you're working residential, industrial, or commercial systems in the HVAC industry, there's a lot that goes into becoming an HVAC technician. That also kind of brings you into entry-level certifications. Most HVAC companies require technicians to obtain the Section 608 certification. The Section 608 certification is part of the Clean Air Act, which is part of the primary occupational license for HVAC technicians in the United States. It basically requires that everyone who works with refrigerants, including maintaining, servicing, and repairing, or disposing of air conditioning or refrigeration equipment to be certified through this section. Now, this is a very, very, very major certification if you wanna get into the HVAC industry. This is probably one of the biggest certifications, the EPA Section 608. So the 608 certification is a necessary certification if you're working with refrigerants. To get the certification, you need to pass an exam. Your formal training should prepare you for that exam. You can also obtain other certifications like the NATE certification. The NATE certification or North American Technical Excellence Certification is a nationally recognized certification for technicians who work in the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning and refrigerant industry. The NATE certification demonstrates that a technician has the knowledge and skills to perform HVAC maintenance, repair, and installation work. So between the NATE and the EPA certification, those are both great certifications that you can get online, take the exam, and that really helps you become a more of a qualified employee to an HVAC employer. Now, the third thing is hands-on work experience when it comes to some sort of requirements. After you get your formal kind of training and your certifications, you really need to start looking for some hands-on experience. Just like any other career in the trades, hands-on experience is really, really get to start learning and start doing and putting parts together and learning the trade that you're in. Now, you can start doing that by looking at externships, internships, or my favorite, what I personally tell people to do is look for apprenticeships in your area, in your city, either that through the union or just through local HVAC companies in your area. Moving on, now you're looking at, well, if I wanna retain, maybe get some of these certifications like the EPA section 608 or the NATE certifications, I wanna learn more about becoming an HVAC technician, what the HVAC industry looks like, what these different systems look like and be better prepared because there's a lot of reasons why people obviously go to technical colleges or community colleges and take these courses and these classes is to get a better understanding. So you don't just hop into a trade brand new without any experience. Getting into the HVAC career, having formal education is a pretty good foundation. However, this is where most people take the wrong approach. To get formal education, most people Go to an on-campus trade school or community college, like I was saying. If you've seen, like I've said, any of my previous videos, I'm like 50-50 when it comes to a technical school or a technical college. Here's why. First thing is, it's expensive. You know, it can lead to student debt. Getting into a technical college or a school like that takes a lot of time and it can be very expensive. The long course duration, it can take one to two years to finish the school. That's a long time. And during that time, you can really honestly be working like or just doing some sort of trade, you know, hands on experience, getting in the field experience in any skilled trade. The third thing is, is your fixed schedules. Like I was saying, you have to drive every day to attend classes for months. It can be difficult to manage life around fixed schedules that could lead to missed classes and potentially taking longer to complete. It's a whole thing. And um, 
I'm not saying don't do it, but what I want to point out to you is there's an alternative. And like I always try to preach, and this is the whole reason why I do blue collar EDU, is to give you alternative routes to going to college or going to a two-year technical school. If that's what you want to do, by all means, do it. But I want to give you alternative routes. And one of the alternative routes I'm telling you for becoming an HVAC technician is to do online training. There's already a lot that you need of training and certifications for becoming a qualified or certified HVAC technician that requires a lot of online training and courses and things like that. When it comes to online training, it's typically faster. You can normally complete it in a few months. It's also a lot more affordable with most programs kind of ranging between five to 7,000 and it's more flexible than in-person training. This is a very common for the HVAC trade. Now there's a few things to look for in online training. And these are things that I've noticed that you kind of want to search for. If you're going to look for an online training, a course sorts like that, you need to see, is it interactive? You want to learn with simulations, animations, and videos. You want to see what's inside the HVAC system, the different components, etc. Now that's why immersive interactive online training with 3D animations is better. The second thing is self-paced. You should have the freedom to learn at your own pace. You don't wanna be tied down with the fixed schedules in live classes. Those sorts of things, they start taking up a whole lot of your time. Being able to work at your own pace and have your own schedule when it comes to online training is very important. When doing online training, it should prepare you for entry-level certifications like I named above, the EPA and the NAE certifications. It shouldn't take years to complete. Any institution that preaches that they can give you a training, a certification in four to eight weeks probably lacks quality and won't get you ready for your career. You've been searching for online training. I have a recommendation. This is why I told you to stick around until the end. Now, let me introduce you guys to some online training that I came across that I think is of terrific value. This is Preppy's online HVAC technician certification program. Now, I personally have taken time, I've reached out to the owner of these programs and talked to him. I've looked over the curriculum, I went into it, I have looked over the course because I'm not one just to preach and say, hey, go do this, go do that. As you guys know, I'm not all about going to technical colleges, and spend the time and the money, but there are online training platforms, courses that can tremendously help you, especially in an industry like the HVAC industry. The cool thing about Preppy's online certification program is it's 100% online and self-paced. Now with this program, you can get your HVAC tech training anytime and anywhere. Once you enroll, you get instant access to all the training materials, which includes eBooks, video slides, interactive slides, simulations, and more. It also is fast and prepares you for your EPA and your NAE certifications like I was mentioning earlier, the important certifications for the HVAC industry. The program is self-paced, but you can complete the program in as little as four months. This is why I said stick around to the end because 2025 is a few months away. And if you wanna get into the HVAC industry in 2025, then this is a fabulous place to start. More importantly, it gets you ready to crush the section 608 certification by EPA, which is probably the top doc certification that you need to become a qualified HVAC technician. Getting certified as an HVAC tech especially about EPA and Nate can be preferred by employers. And with Preppy, you're ready to do that. Another cool thing about Preppy's online certification program for HVAC is it's a partnership with an accredited university. Preppy's program is in partnership with a 150 year nonprofit accredited university, Auburn University. Essentially, your training is through an accredited university. For the most part, university certificates typically carry a lot of respect and a lot of weight. And with Preppy, you get that without actually enrolling in the university itself. This can be huge for your resume, especially if you're just starting out. Now, one of the coolest things about this program is the externship opportunities. Now, these are included. Preppy also takes care of the hands-on experience part as an externship opportunity is also included with the program. When you finish your Preppy HVAC Technician program online, you're eligible for a volunteer externship with a local HVAC company. This is where you can gain valuable hands-on training and experience in the field. Once you finish your program and you would like to participate, 
a Preppy Externship Coordinator will reach out and help coordinate your placement for you. You also might be wondering, well, this is a, I get a lot for this, and you do. You're probably wondering how much does it cost? I would say Preppy is insanely affordable. As I stressed earlier, your HVAC training shouldn't put you under the burden of student debt. Preppy doesn't do that. Right now, at this time of making this video, you can enroll in the program for just $2,599. You get your HVAC tech training for just under $3,000. And everything I talked about is included. Now, they might increase the price when you see this, but even if it costs twice as much, it's still a great deal. You can also enroll using payment plans if you can't afford the $2,599 right now. But right now, they also have a bonus going on where they ship you a free laptop when you enroll. I think this is, like I said, a fabulous, a great step in the right direction. Preppy gets my seal of approval for one of the best, one of the better HVAC certification programs on the internet right now. If you want to get HVAC tech training online, or if you were looking for an HVAC tech school, then Preppy honestly is the, the place I would kind of shove you towards if you want to do online training. You don't have to do online training, but I'm saying most people, they kind of want to get a better direction of where to go and, and things learn more about something before they just dip, just dive full into the cold water. And I think Preppy's HVAC certification program will do that for you. If you wanna enroll, click on the link in the description below the like button. I'll also add it in the pinned comments. Also, by the way, like I was saying, for a limited time, they also have an exclusive bonus where if you enroll with the upfront payment, you also get a free laptop, which is yours to keep even after you complete the program. As they say, this program literally checks all the boxes. So if you want to become an HVAC technician in 2025 or even sooner than that, that is possible, you should get your training with Preppy's HVAC Technician Certification Program. Click the link in the description, check it out, go enroll. I'm telling you, this is a great place to start. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, how to become an HVAC technician. I more so wanted to focus on the education and what it takes to become an HVAC technician but there are great programs out there for you guys who want to get into the HVAC industry and build a, a lucrative, awesome career. And this is a great place to start. With Blue Collar EDU, I'm here to expose, teach, educate you about Blue Collar career opportunities and how to get started in those trades. And with that being said, I'll catch you on the next one.